everybody, my name is Christian Aldo and welcome to The Plastic General. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at figure sets by Conti Collectibles. We're going to check out US Paratroopers and their mortal enemies, the Waffen SS. Then we're going to take a look at some German armor that I know you never knew existed in our scale. Sound exciting? Let's go to war! Fire! Did you notice? Did you notice the glitter on the shirt? I gotta tell you something. Somebody was making fun of me and they sent me a big grid of every shirt I've used in every episode. And so I, it made me self-conscious, so I started digging through my closet. This is COVID. There, there's no time to get any new shirts. So I'm resorting to this. It's like it's like something from the Golden Girls. But this, that's what you get. Anyway, you know, let's talk about Conti for a minute. Before the year 2000, like the 132 scale World War II hobby was kind of starving to death. And then a guy came on the scene. He revolutionized... The, the, the creation of 132 world uh, like figures whether it be medieval or whatever he he made them fully round and, and full bodied and, and the sculpting was on a, on a whole nother level that no one had ever seen and the craziest thing of all was they were made in my hometown of Windsor Ontario this freaked me out so much I I called up the company that made them and um, and sure enough, I, I met the owner, he invited me to the factory, and he showed me around and gave me a full tour. It was like, for me, it'd be like going to like Lucasfilm, Lucas, 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 Luke Skywalker Ranch. That's what it would be like. I was so excited to see all these figures in their prototype stage before they were ever released. Let's take a look at some of these amazing Conti figures, and uh, Richard Conti is like, he, to me, he's like... He's at Walt Disney. Let's check him out. Now this is a big set. Uh, there's 16 poses in this in the uh, in this set of U.S. airborne figures. We'll go three at a time. Uh, the first figure is kneeling, firing a Thompson machine gun, and the second figure is firing a Thompson from waist, and the third figure is running with the Thompson machine gun. They all are running their backpacks, and they are fully loaded. U.S. Airborne Troops. Okay, poses four, five, and six are all figure. Uh, two of the first two figures are advancing with their Garand rifles, and the sixth figure is standing sharpshooting his Garand. Now, compared to, to all the figures that were made before Conti, I mean, these figures are full-bodied. I mean, they are totally, they are fully round, and yeah, they're, they're, they're as I said, they're very full-bodied. No one had ever really done this before to that level. And they're made from a very soft plastic so that they could pull, the, so that they could score those undercuts. Now, this, you, you, you did have to put the, this arm in with a peg. There's a little, it's a peg arm, you pop it in, but I decided to glue it in permanently, so it wouldn't have problems. The next three figures are all utilizing M1 carbines, but they're the ones with the, the versions with the folding stocks that were specially designed for paratroopers when, uh, when jumping. The first figure is kneeling sharp shooting, the second figure is uh, running, and the third figure is standing sharp shooting. They are on the go. The next poses is man and uh, figure advancing with Garand, and this figure here is firing the the bar. He's a what they call a bar gunner, which is a, a Browning automatic rifle. And um, two more really great poses. Poses 12, 13, and 14. We have a figure. Uh, firing a pistol, a 
wait a second. Let, let me get this right. I'm gonna ask We have a figure throwing a grenade while firing his Colt pistol. We have a figure standing, firing a bazooka anti-tank weapon, and another figure firing a Colt. And finally, we have the posthumously rewarded figures. They will be immortalized for all eternity in plastic. We have a figure, um, obviously, or very probably running forward and being shot. Conti loves making wounded figures and dead figures, which they are kind of exciting. And we have a figure here on the ground, probably dying. Someone is shedding plastic tears somewhere in the States. A, a, Fisher, a Fisher Price or Mark's family playset is crying right now for these guys. But they're awesome figures. So here they are in all their glory. Basically, you're looking at the Band of Brothers by Conti Collectibles. Fantastic set of 16 poses. Now for the Waffen SS set. And Richard Conti was also the first producer ever to make Waffen SS figures. So the first one, and we have a, a commander um, firing. He's wearing a long, probably leather coat, and he's firing a Luger. He kind of looks like um, Hans Landa, the, the commander from uh, Inglorious Bastards. And uh, this figure here is uh, firing a Panzerfaust anti-tank weapon. Poses three and four, kneeling sharpshooting Mauser rifle and standing sharpshooting, uh, looks like a Guir rifle. You can see the figures are wearing canvas on their helmets. They're wearing camouflage smocks and uh, short cut boots. And um, yeah, these are wonderful combat figures. Poses five and six. Um, holding MP40 machine gun and throwing stick grenade. And this figure here seems to be leaning in, slowly or cautiously advancing, perhaps peering around a corner or looking into a window with his MP40 ready. Um, these, uh, the Waffen SS, were um, Hitler's elite soldiers, like his elite personal army. And poses eight and nine. Uh, we have a figure kneeling, firing an STG assault, uh, STG 44 assault rifle with camo helmet cover. And this figure here is firing an MP40, but he's looking back, probably yelling to some troops to, to move forward. Now, um, Richard Conti only did eight poses of this uh, Waffen SS set. And so I was obliged to at least create a couple more conversion poses. And so this is what I came up with. Conversion number one is a running figure with MP40. And I created him from this figure. So what I did is I cut the leg and I just bent the rubber back enough so that it sort of kept its shape. And then I uh, removed the head of another figure that had a canvas, canvas covered helmet and I glued him on there nicely. And so now I have a pretty legit looking running figure. Running and yelling. Now for the second of the two conversion figures, uh, this figure is a basic and much needed standing firing MP40 submachine gun from waste and basically I made him from this figure. A very, very simple but very important conversion. Like how many guys do I need firing from the waist yelling backwards? So I kept him and all the rest. I, I cut the head off and put a new head on and made him face forward. So you can see the difference between the two. But this figure is far more useful in duplicates. So there he is. 
So here they are, a set of the dreaded Waffen SS, uh, all eight poses, and including the two conversions that I made. Uh, so that makes 10 altogether. And um, they've never been re-released, so if you can find them, you probably should scoop them up. Okay, and as I promised, some German self-propelled guns that I know you didn't know about. Uh, way back in the early 70s, um, a company by the name of Bandai came out with a 1/30th scale uh, Hummel. And a Hummel is a German self-propelled gun, which means uh, they took the chassis of a, of a Panzer IV, removed the turret, and then put a, a 15 centimeter or 150 millimeter cannon on this thing and gave it an open back compartment so people could work freely inside. Now, these aren't really tanks. They are basically cannons on wheels. So these things would stay far away from the action and they would fire the cannons into the action and, um, and destroy the enemy. And then they would drive away before the enemy could uh, retaliate with um, cannon fire of their own. So uh, this thing is very rare. Uh, you can find it, it pops up. It's made by Bandai and uh, they can sell for a pretty penny. But there's some maniac who went and bought about 40 of them and put them all together, maybe probably back in the 70s, and just built them all and just sold them all on eBay a couple years ago. So there's probably still a lot floating around. Definitely pick it up. It works very well with Forces of Valor or 21st Century Toys figures. In fact, I'm going to show you right now how well it works. Okay, so, you know, like a commander could go here, like that, and then you have a figure uh, loading a shell in here, and uh, you could get another guy here, we all know that figure, and he's loading in there like that. And they're shooting at me. Or you can get behind it and you think that you're spotting. You could be a spotter. And here's a, a figure for comparison. Now for the second self-propelled gun. This is called a Nash Horn. And basically it's, um, it's, the, it's the tank destroyer version of the Hummel. But um, Bandai only came out with the Hummel, so what I did is I bought a second one, and I also purchased a, a Nashorn 135th scale kit and swapped out some of the components. Like the gun is uniquely an anti-tank gun, so I installed the gun. And then, the, um, then the, front, the front driver section was uniquely designed this way for the Nashorn, so I put that in. And so now I have the Nashorn tank destroyer. And, and the Hummel mobile artillery, self-propelled gun. And there they are. So you can see the differences. Tank destroyer gun. And that's basically a howitzer on wheels. Now what do you think of my outfits? Is it match? Enough fashion, and let's go to the battle. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start from the other side. Hmm, that's not working either. It may be from here, and then, okay, let's just go from here.
Whoa, guys, that was intense. There's bullets flying everywhere. Anyway, um, I guess that'll pretty much wrap it up for today. Please remember to, um, to hit the subscribe button and then to hit the little bell so we can always notify you about future episodes. Uh, hit the like button because I know you love 132 scale World War II. Um, oh, if you have any comments, any questions, or any, um, any credit, if I made any mistakes, point them out, write them there in there in the comment section, because I always write you back. My name is Christian Aldo, and, um, I'm the Plastic General, and we see you next time. Hey, don't point that gun at, at me. Be careful. I, I... Oh, my God.